The early 1960s saw a rising tide of criticism of American society, mainly by college students. They criticized repression, corruption, and racism as basic flaws in the entire structure of American government and society. These protesters and demonstrators were called the New Left to show both the similarities and differences of their ideas with older socialist and, com and communist ones. Most New Left groups were committed to living a countercultural life as well as changing society. One of the most visible was SNCC, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, a civil rights activist group that emerged from the black student students in North Carolina in 1960. Another group was SDS, Students for a Democratic Society, mostly white college students. SDS began in 1962. Initially, SDS chapters throughout the nation were involved in the civil rights movement. This organized the National March on Washington, D.C. in April 1965, and from about that period, SDS grew increasingly militant, especially about issues relating to the war, such as drafting of students. And then Elena was like dying, I was like, yo, what the heck? What's up, guys? Hey, how are you? students at the University of California Berkeley campus insisted that the university administration lift the ban of on-campus political activities and acknowledge the students right to free speech and academic freedom. On December 2nd almost 4,000 students tried to reopen negotiations with the administration on the subject of restrictions on political speech and action on campus. The first substantial demonstration in October 1963 occurred when there were American military advisors in Vietnam and it opposed the government's support for Ngo Dinh Diem, the representative president of South Vietnam. <laughs> Some early anti-war events were organized by faculty such as a teach-in on April 1st, 1965 that future Chancellor William Sewell put together. 
It was the second such teaching in the nation and only and came only a few weeks after the first American combat troops arrived in Vietnam. <clears throat> Weatherman, known colloquially as the Weatherman, was a political faction elected in 1968 to lead the radical group Students for a Democratic Society, SDS. The organization took, took its name from a line in the Bob Dylan song, Subterranean Homesick Blues. You don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blows. Emerging in 1969 as the most militant wing of the SDS's revolutionary youth movement, the Fledging Weathermen issued a manifesto eschewing nonviolence and calling instead for armed opposition to U.S. policies, advocating the overthrow of capitalism, exporting white radicals to trigger a worldwide revolution by fighting in the streets of the mother country, and proclaiming that the time had come to launch a race war against the white United States on behalf of the non-white third world. Grounded in identity politics, Weatherman ideology and rhetoric rebelled against what later became, came to be known as America's white skin privilege. Weatherman opposed the strategy of a rival SDS faction, progressive labor, which rejected the sexual and chemical excesses of countercultural movements of the 1960s in favor of a pure Marxist-Leninist popular front movement aimed at developing student labor alliances. I see that so many of you have come out today to the Students for the Democratic Society Convention. Together, we will fight using our armed unified opposition to overthrow capitalism and trigger a worldwide revolution. Yeah! That's great! The time has come to launch a race war against the white United States on behalf of the non-white third world. Yeah! This is amazing. We're changing the world here. Yeah, I hope one day that we'll be able to overcome white supremacy and racism. Obviously we will. This cause has brought us African Americans together in ways that whites haven't experienced since they fought for the independence in 1776. That's true. This is a fight we're bound to win, no matter how long it takes or how many of us they put in jail. Or how many of us they kill and beat. Hey now, <laughs> don't think of it like that. There are too many of us strong-willed individuals for them to overcome. The 1960s were a period of tension and turbulence for much of the U.S. The counterculture attempted to promote an alternative lifestyle that encouraged peace, love, and freedom. The counterculture that developed during the 1960s was an alternate lifestyle chosen by the individuals who eventually became known as hippies or freaks. The members of the counterculture had convictions similar to that the New Left movement in which they wanted to overcome the domestic policy within the United States. Hippies were generally dissatisfied with consensus culture that had developed after the Second World War and wanted to distance themselves from the American society, hence the term counterculture. As a result, members of the counterculture attempted to establish their own towns, economy, political institutions, and societal values. Protest music in the 1960s can be attributed to the U.S. involvement in the war, Vietnam. Protest music really hit a full swing in the number of troops in the Vietnam Escalade from 1964 to 67. The biggest highlight of the music of the hippie era was the Woodstock Festival in 1969. The 1960s was, a, was the right time for this kind of social revolution because it heated the civil rights movement and the protest on the U.S. involvement in the Vietnam War. This type of protest mu music was different from previous protest songs because hippies music dealt with more promoting a peace through music. We need to separate from the society, man. What be hating on us, dude? I agree. We should create our own little towns like economy, political institutions, and like societal values, man. That'd be totally rad, having a whole area dedicated to, dedicated to our love and peace, dude. Yeah, dude. I don't agree with the wars and the Protesting, protesting, all protesting and all yeah. that stuff, dude. They're just not chilling up. Yeah. I suggest we go to the Woodstock Festival. They're gonna have some pretty rad music there. Yeah, we should. They got that good cushion. That'd be so chill, bro. Yeah. I agree. We should take over this community and we love peace and love. Peace and love. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Mom, I'm a boy. <laughs> Alright. Are you ready? I'm <laughs> Fish is dying. <laughs> they call me Dark Temptation. I work at the strip club on Saturday nights. Here's a preview. Work, 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 work. You send me every work, 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 work.